Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of the GG Maverick Mini where we're going to tear down the transmitter for the annual maintenance. We got the Maverick Mini now for one year and we have to do maintenance on the transmitter. So we're gonna fully disassemble it. Now I have a couple of reasons why you need probably want to do that. One is of course maybe to check if you got a faulty battery. Then you have to fully disassemble and tear down the transmitter to get to the battery. Two is of course doing the maintenance because I'm living right at the beach. I got a lot of salty water close by. There's also a lot of salt in the air. They would just corrode any circuit boards and any electronics is just a harmful environment that just corrodes everything super quick. That's why I have to check all my electronics every year and perhaps check the gimbals and replace the grease and clean it up because at the beach there's a lot of sand that's creeping around that Ill this little crack next to the gimbal. It's just sand flying into the transmitter case. And if you don't clean it up, that grease mixed with sand will turn into sandpaper and it just destroys your gimbals super quick. And the third reason why you have to disassemble tear down in your transmitter is doing an antenna upgrade. There are several antennas that you can choose. These are 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz antennas that you can use to upgrade it. Or you can go to 5.8 gigahertz patch antennas that are 16 dBi. They are very, very powerful. And then you also need uh, Apex to SMA connector. This is the Apex connector. Very tiny. To SMA. So you can connect new antennas to the transmitter. You will find the links to all those products down below in your description. Well, let's start the teardown and a few extra tips that might be helpful for you want to tear down any drone, a transmitter, or perhaps an RC car. Is getting this little package. It saved my ass so many times. Uh, 25 different pieces that you can use, and every time I'm using an Imbus key, you always wear out the little screw, and then you can use a star uh, like this. Several different stars to unlock that screw, even when it's already worn out. So it saved my ass so many times, and it's super cheap and came in helpful so many times that we're gonna be using today and we'll find a link to that as well plus I got for every time you tear down something you need some magnet strips to keep all the screws together they're just from the brand wow stick find a link to that as well the brand new just came in this day and these are simple mats magnetic mats that will hold your screws together so you don't lose them and let's start the teardown because it's not easy to start where we're going to stop because you don't see any screws there is not a lot of screws except for where you need to start it's right here in the corner and one and two are the first screws that you're gonna undo and you need a very small imbus but i just already went straight away i'm using Look, it's tight, it's locked in there. I'm using a star. Uh, we just grabbed a Nimbus. Hopefully it works. And this time the Nimbus works better <laughs> than the screwdriver. Uh, plenty of times that my Nimbus let me down and the screwdriver just saved my ass. This time it's the other way around. I'm lucky. And check the magnets. And they are sticking to the mat. It's good. Proper magnetic. And I've got those two screws loose. I should be able to pry. The next step is just removing them away. And just pull down. Pull it out. Let's get it. The next step is removing this front plate. Can you see it, guys, right there in the corner? And as I talked about before, there's a lot of dirt inside. There's a lot of sand inside the case. This all came in through the gimbal. The little crack, the little 
at the opening at the side and it's just it's bad it's sold it's sand it's just really bad for electronics so you're going to have to clean it out and replace the grease next step is removing two screws one on the left one on the right and then the next step is disconnect the gimbal connectors just pry them loose and I broke it it just broke off oh horrible connectors I just broke it off it's super cold I thought you need to be careful with them uh. Super careful. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I managed. Whew. But that's broken. I'm going to have to fix that. <sighs> Super easy now to make contact and circuit out. Oh. I'm going to have to fix it. And then the next step is trying to split the two halves in two. And remove the top case. Like that. So now I got the gimbals connected to the top plate in one piece. Now we got the battery. If you got a faulty battery, you can replace it. You can check the voltage. There's the battery connector, and again, be super careful. It's just glue on top of the connector, so it won't come loose. Well, we got it. There's the battery connector. Then we got the connectors from return to home and the camera gimbal. Pull it out and get loose. Then we got another strip right here at the top, but that's also glued on. So we're going to have to remove the glue. They made it so difficult with adding glue. But they want to make sure it never comes loose. Uh, well, let me just continue with the three screws. One, two, three. Grab loose. Just be careful. Stop connected, of course. Uh, it has to get disconnected if you want to disassemble it. But we're just gonna continue. And the little buttons at the side. And we got two more screws on that side and three more on this side. So let's remove that. The camera controller. Camera slider, but the screws are so small. I'm gonna need my. Now to remove the battery, this connector has to come undone and we have to remove that glue. That is super important. But I don't want to break it. Yes, just doing it with your nails is the safest way to do it. And it came loose, yes. Now we can remove the circle board. And these are your buttons. Now we got two more screws right here. And then we can remove the battery.
and two screws at the top. There we got two screws. Now the battery should come loose. Be careful, yes. Let's glue it a little bit to the connector down there. So we couldn't play it to cool it down. And now we got a battery and you can see an 16 18650 battery. Don't say how much milliamp. So the next step, we already undone the controller for the camera with just two screws. Yeah. If you got any issues, then it's just this simple for an automator. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to call it, but it's a very simple thing. Now we see the connectors for the antennas. These are the apex connectors. Exact same one that we have, then we can replace it with this ones that run down towards the antenna. Find the links down below. Exactly the same apex connectors that we need. Then there are one, two, three, four, five, six more screws. I am pretty happy what I'm seeing so far. There's not a lot of corrosion, not at all. But I bring it to the beach. I've been taking it on my surfboard, stopping around the Oosterschelde along the beach. Yeah, I've been taking it in with my salty water, uh, yeah, mostly hands. And uh, I was scared to see a lot of green and white corrosion, but there's not a lot, almost anything at all. But to be 100% sure of that, I need to see the underside of the circle board. And that looks clean as well. And here you got the buzzer that you can remove if you hate that zooming by sound. But so far, so good. Looking pretty nice. And it's still good shape. I'm not seeing any corrosion. I don't have to clean it. And there's not a lot of sand, but I predicted it to be a lot more sand in it. I did see a little bit. But I would expect to see a lot and a lot more. I always count the screws that you got the exact same number that you undid. So you don't lose any screws or you don't have any screws left over at the end. Just checking, we can unclip and pull out the antennas. These are the exact same hole that we have to put in. Right. That is going to fit. We don't have to do any modifications, beyond just removing it, it's just plug and play. That's nice, nice to know. And I'm just going to clean all the corners. Remove any sand, but definitely right here there's a lot of sand in this nick. And then of course also check the gimbals. Because there was the most sand just came in through the gimbals. So I'm definitely gonna take a brush and clean it all up. Now that you have seen how to tear down and fully disassemble your transmitter of your DJI Mavic Mini, then you also know how to rebuild it and you know how to fix it and maintenance it. I really want to thank you all for watching this episode. 
If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, then please go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, then check out the links down below. And I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you next time. Click here to subscribe and click here if you want to see another video. Thank you very much. Goodbye. This is How to Receive signing out.